but hi guys let's start the next episode of five mcqs in five minute and if you look in the very top of this slide i have mentioned that inict special since the next examination in line that we have is inict followed by fmg and neat pg we'll be having more inict focus question as well but rest assured this series is equally going to be important for inict neat pg and fmg experience because the topic remains the same it's just the pattern of question that is being asked will change the very first question that I'm having today is about a widely used drug that suppresses the cellular immunity. Inhibit uh, prostaglandin and leukotriene both, okay. Synthesis and increases the catabolism of IgG antibody. Okay, so there are a lot of information that is mentioning here. Cyclophosphamide, prednisolone, cyclosporine and infliximab are the option. Now, if you look at the option, guys, uh, your drug like cyclophosphamide, it's one of the alkylating agent. It's a cell cycle, non-specific anti-cancer drug, CC, non-specific cell cycle, non-specific anti-cancer drug. Steroids, prednisone is steroid. Cyclosporine, it is one of the calcineurin inhibitor. It's one of the calcineurin inhibitor and they inhibit the activation of interleukin-2. They inhibit the activation of interleukin-2. That is going to be your calcineurin inhibitor, cyclosporine and tacrolimus. Then next that we are having is going to be infliximab. Infliximab, it's one of the TNF alpha inhibitor. Now we have ruled out other option. Now let us see why prednisolone will be the correct answer. And let me tell you the correct answer definitely is going to be prednisolone since we have already ruled out other option. Let's see what we have about uh, prednisolone. That's one of the steroid. We already know that phospholipid with the help of phospholipase A2 is going to get converted to arachidonic acid. With the help of enzyme like cyclooxygenase, they will be converted to prostaglandin. With the help of enzyme like 5-lipoxygenase, they will be converted to leukotriene. Leukotriene B4 for the chemotaxis, CDE4, they will be acting on the bronchial smooth muscle causing bronchoconstriction. So if you want to inhibit the COX, you can do this by giving NSAIDs. NSAID will be COX inhibitor. Or we are having LOX inhibitor, LOX. So I used to tell you in class as well, the LOX sounds like a, a bathing bar or bathing, you know, a shampoo, a shampoo or soap that we know. The LUX is, will be utilized by the actress Zil. So Zilutone will be the uh, 5 LOX inhibitor. And if you want to cut down the root, like for example, 5 phospholipase A2 inhibitor. You see, if you give phospholipase A2 inhibitor, and steroids will have this property what will happen they are going to inhibit your uh, you know prostaglandin formation also and they are also going to inhibit the leukotriene so correct answer in this one is going to be a prednisolone because the steroids will be inhibiting both of them right so i hope all of you guys have got this uh, answer to this question next question is about a 29 year old woman uh, a patient was started on grisofulvin so this question i also have discussed a couple of times in my previous episodes for dermatophytosis grisofulvin it's one of the uh, antifungal drug and this antifungal agent that we know it's a fungistatic antifungal drug sometimes examiner use the term fungicidal though uh, just to make uh, just to confuse you it's a fungistatic remember they are the microtubule inhibitor inhibit the fungus division microtubule inhibitor do remember this grisofulvin is one of the agent that is having lot of you know uh, pharmacokinetic property that it's a very very potent enzyme inducer okay it's a very very potent enzyme inducer plus sign is for the induction apart from that they are also associated with your disulfiram like reaction because of their property of inhibiting aldehyde dehydrogenase plus they are also seen to be associated with lupus like syndrome among the given choices if the examiner is going to ask you which of the following is true do remember that all of the following will be true because they are causing disulfiram they are enzyme inducer yes in addition to this we are also having other enzyme inducer but there is one antifungal drug which is having enzyme inhibiting property and that is going to be a ketoconazole. So antifungal drug which is having enzyme inducing property, grisofulvin is the one. Apart from that, remember that grisofulvin, another drug is absorption. Its absorption hai, it is going to increase uh, no, with fatty meal. Uh, with fatty meal. We are actually going to utilize grisofulvin in a patient for the management of the dermatophytosis. For the dermatophytosis, we are going to utilize. Earlier, they were even used as the drug of choice, but because of the increasing resistance with this one, for dermatophytosis, now we have the drug of choice that is terbinafil. That is one of the squalene epoxidase inhibitor. Next question that we are going to see here is about a patient has been treated for bipolar disorder for several months using lithium. Okay. 
drug of choice for your mania also lithium which of the following is a common adverse effect so in, instead of giving this scenario of a, about a patient if the examiner would have given just this line which of the following is a common adverse effect of lithium carbonate that is still makes sense but according to the recent guidelines or recent uh, way of asking question it's a very clear guideline that every question should be in a form of short case even if it is going to be a half line one line two line case it should be a case okay now which of the following examiner is asking which of the following is a common adverse effect of the lithium so i have already told you n number of times that lithium ka side effect you can remember by the very very simple mnemonic of lith leukocytosis not leukopenia leukocytosis insipidus that is diabetes insipidus and lithium induced diabetes insipidus for the treatment we always use epithelial sodium channel blocker by the name of amyloride amyloride being the drug of choice for lithium induced diabetes insipidus tremor initially there can be fine tremor later on later on they will be converted to coarse tremor teratogenicity associated with the epstein anomaly and i told you that in one of the 2021 question they have already asked this one that tin uh, i mean uh, box shaped heart so mai batata hu kaise tin se banta hai box so box shaped heart will be associated with the epstein anomaly which drug is associated so that will be lithium hypothyroidism not hyperthyroidism and any hypothyroidism case will have higher level of tsh hai na so let's read the option that we have dry mouth hyperthyroidism do we have hyper or hypo you see hypothyroidism i said right you have to find out a common adverse event leukopenia does it cause leukopenia or leukocytosis you already have the answer you said leukocytosis not leukopenia you know nephrogenic diabetes insipidus that's the correct answer it is associated with the nephrogenic diabetes insipidus and for the management of the nephrogenic diabetes insipidus we are using amyloride one of the epithelial sodium channel blocker मैकेनिज्म ऑफ एक्शन ऑफ नेविरापिन रिमेंबर गाइस नेविरापिन नाम के बीच में वायरस है इन एपिसोड 22 22 आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन टू ऑल ऑफ यू गाइस हाउ टू आइडेंटिफाई द ड्रग्स ऑल द प्रोटीएज इनहिबिटर दे आर गोइंग टू एंड विद द नाविर इंडीनाविर नेल्फिनाविर एंड ऑल nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor they are very important family so i told you siddhi dadi abbu ammi love sister they are they are all nrti and i have given all the list here already nrti all the drugs that we are having is going to be siddhi dadi abbu ammi love sister zidovudin didenosine apacavir amtricitamine lamivudin stavudin nucleotide may t for nucleotide we are having only one that is tenofovir nnrti ko identify karne ka simple tarika hai unke naam ke beech mein virus aayega dekhiyega फर्स्ट जनरेशन में वी आर हैविंग इफाविरेंस नेविरापिन डेलावर्डिन सो नाम के बीच में वायरस आएगा देखिए ध्यान से नाम के बीच में यू विल सी देयर इज अ वायरस इफाविरेंस सो यू कैन रिमेंबर लाइक दिस एंड अगर आप ऐसे बेस आंसर के लिए क्वेश्चन के लिए प्रिपेयर करते हैं सेकंड प्रॉप के स्टूडेंट है तो यू कैन रिमेंबर लाइक दिस एंड एट द रेड बट एनीवे यू आर जस्ट यू आर गोइंग टू राइट नीट पीजी एंड आई सीटी एंड एफएमजी सो यू नीड टू लुक एट द ड्रग एंड यू इमीडिएटली यू नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई इफाविरेंस nevirapine delavirdin rilpivirin atravirin dolavirin so second generation are more potent lesser side effect okay and we are also having integrase inhibitor all the integrase inhibitor boys and girls remember all the integrase inhibitor are dolutegravir raltegravir elvitegravir their name is having tigra 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 their name is having what tigra time thoda sa badh raha because i nict based hai thoda sa aap log adjust kar liye 1 2 minute i am pretty sure you guys will end up revising five important topics definitely tigra 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 dolutegravir raltegravir elvitegravir please remember a very important point here that whenever you are going to treat hiv with att whenever you are going to treat hiv with anti tubercular therapy agar tb ko bhi treat kar rahe ho to remember they are actually this uh, dolutegravir and uh, integrase inhibitor they are the substrate they are actually considered as a substrate of your CYP3A4 to us condition mein agar aap TLD wala use kar rahe ho tenofovir lamivudin and dolutegravir then in that case now you are going to double the dose of dolutegravir DTG matlab dolutegravir you have to increase the dose now you might be asking sir what about tenofovir tenofovir nucleotide reverse transcriptase inhibitor they are unchanged metabolite is excreted in the kidney we are not going to you know alter their dose likewise lamivudine is not getting metabolized by microsomal enzyme they are metabolized by non microsomal enzyme preferably sulfation uh, process ke through we are going to only alter the dose of someone who is getting you know metabolized or whose action can be affected by the microsomal enzyme uh, Uh, inducer like let's say rifampicin in the anti tubercular drug we will be using anti tubercular drug like rifampicin hai na so rifampicin can induce the metabolism of your uh, integrase inhibitor dolutegravir apart from that they can also increase the metabolism of your protease inhibitor so protease inhibitor ke sath whenever you want to give either don't give protease inhibitor or if you want to give you change rifampicin to you know a rifabutin one of the rifampicin ka hi analog theek hai all the protease inhibitor i told you is going to be your 
नावीर 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 वाले ड्रग है ना सो दे आर ऑल्सो सबसेट ऑफ सीवाई थ्री फोर एंड वी शुड नॉट बी गिविंग दम विद एंटी ट्यूबर ड्रग लाइक रिफॉर्म बेसिन ओके और यू नीड टू चेंज इट टू अनदर फॉर्म ऑफ रिफॉर्म बेसिन सो इट्स अ प्रोटीज इनिबिटर Nevirapine is not protein inhibitor. It's a nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor. I told you, Zidhi, Dadi, Abu, Ami, Love, Sister, they are the NRTI non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor. So I told you, they are the non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor. Fusion inhibitor is the second line drug. The name of the drug in this one will be enfuvertide. The name of the compound is enfuvertide, and that is targeting GB41 on the virus. So this was the one, the concept that I was telling you, TLD, tenofovir, lamivudine, and they are the first line. Also for the treatment we can use, and also for the post-exposure prophylaxis. Hana? So we are only going to increase the dose of uh, dolutegravir, not the other compounds. Which of the following is the non-competitive inhibitor of reverse transcriptase? Non-competitive means the NNRTI, non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor. They are the non-competitive. They are the non-competitive inhibitor of the reverse transcriptase enzyme. You might be asking, sir, what is the competitive inhibitor? So NRTI, the important family, they are the competitive inhibitor of the reverse transcriptase enzyme. So you have to find out which one of the following is NNRTI. Very, very simple. The only one NNRTI, Della, Verdine, rest all others are NRTI. So we have already seen this one. These are the NRTI, uh, nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor. They are the competitive inhibitor of reverse transcriptase. NNRTI are the non-competitive inhibitor of the reverse transcriptase enzyme. Okay, so uh, with this one, I think we are done with our five MCQs. In five minutes, rather I would say seven to eight minutes or more than uh, maybe more than that because ghanti to bachu ki hai. But I hope all of you guys have enjoyed and revised five important topics. Rest assured that when you revise the topics through this way, you will be able to get uh, some question definitely in your examination, and you will end up uh, marking it correctly because the way we are discussing is uh, going to last for longer. So with this, I will end this session. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. and if you have not watched the previous episode rest assured you will enjoy go ahead and watch it out and you can download all the pdf on this telegram group that we are having you know and you can also follow on the insta page that we are having dr.sirajamit_pharma and uh, please don't forget to like share and subscribe i'll see you in the next video thank you very much